Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Robert is Quar! What a daddy. <laughs> I go, oh my. As, uh, That's what I call a wake up job. <laughs> As he opens his eyes, she's like, ah, oh, good. You're awake. Fine. These the people? She's pointing around at you guys. He's like, oh, uh, what happened? Are these the people? Uh, 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 um, yes, them. we're the people. <sighs> you look like that. Can I grab her so, shoulder and say, he's been through a lot today. And she I'm says, gonna... well, we all have been through a lot today. That's all. I'm gonna stay out of it. <laughs> I don't say anything. I just, like, step back a bit. Um, my name is Meg. I am, uh, from the guild, actually. One of the redeemers. So, you guys, what happened? There was an attack? There was some trouble on the road. Six band- or five bandits? No, six. Was it six? Oh yeah, it was six. There was six four bandits. Back, two two came back. from the back- four came from the back, two came from above. They had bows. No, that it figures. Can... That's ridiculous. She's she goes and starts- well, It was, it was quite a big again. party for such a small band of us. Oh, I don't know. I've never been a bandit. She starts looking through the crates and just kind of flipping through and grabbing some things. Oh, I knew we should have gone through the crates before we got here. <laughs> Ignore her. <laughs> oh yeah, I keep forgetting. I have sleight of hand. And ignore that one too. Excuse well, anyways, me, guard. I'm a you... bit parched. Do you have any ale? Uh, are you talking to the woman, or are you talking to a guard that is nearby? I'm talking to the guard. <coughs> he says, oh, uh, no, sorry. Although, quitting time's pretty soon, so should be, uh, hanging out at the bar. I would think so, at least, so. Would you like to buy me a round? <sighs> um, maybe later. The idea that he doesn't want to buy you a round. No. Can you stop thinking about your liquor? Wait, wait. I go to the guard. <laughs> I go to the guard and pat my dwarf on the shoulder here and say, Don't you know who this is? Trust me, if you buy him a round, he'll treat you to a good old-fashioned game of cards. I try to deceive him instead of buying this man a beer. Because <laughs> I want to see this drunk dwarf now. <coughs> Trust me, you really don't. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, go ahead, give him a deception. Not 20! He's like, uh... Maybe. You know what, I'll, I'll keep an eye on... I, I'd still got some things to do. If I see you around, that might be a good idea. Oh, I just Much look, I look at the door. And then I walk back to the cart. Anyways, Meg uh, hops out of the cart. She starts uh, uh, saying, "Okay, we can just lead the course horses on through. Don't worry about it. I'll uh, show you guys where to go." Okay, can um, can somebody help me about this thing in my chest? You know, this. Addy, can you remind me what that leader's Lord. name was again? Philip. Uh, Philip. No, the, the what the bandit said. Oh. Barry. Barry. Uh, Big Barry. Yeah. Big Barry. Okay. Um, what was the lady's name again? Meg. 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 Oh. Marlo, if you, uh, notice, if you point out the wound on yourself, she'll just literally slap a heel on you. I, I, I say, Meg, um, Miss Meg, Madam, whatever you are, can you help me with my chicken wound here, please? Yeah, she literally smacks you, and it heals you. <laughs> uh, you are healed for six... Okay, so I'm back up to Max. Cool. You humans have a weird tendency of hitting each other, don't you? Hey, baby, how do you? How about you get one of one of those? I do. Butt? <laughs> I like to be spanked. She looks at you a little weird. <laughs> but I She's a masochist. Heal me. I'll give she her something. She doesn't choose to, to smack your butt. She actually just hits you along the lower back. You are healed for seven. 
Uh, so it's Maddie, right? Uh, Meg. Meg, okay. Meg. So I go, Meg, does the name Big Barry ring any bells? No, is that your name? No, the bandit said that he worked for a, a bandit I'm leader. I'm sorry, I'll be sick or any back there for a bit. Big. <laughs> She's like, no, that means uh, nothing to me. Her uh, expression is actually pretty um, dull, actually. Like, sh bandits happen all the time, and I don't know. Well, I was wondering, because I thought it would be a local problem in the area. We could probably take a care of it for you. Oh, You're probably is. Cool. But come on, <laughs> let's uh, get everybody in and situated. You guys have paperwork to fill out. I mean, come on. No, all right, we will, we, will, we will save it for later. We will take care of the paperwork first. Can we eat? I'm hungry. I have a second lunch. First, I'd rather, I'd rather take a drink first before doing the paperwork. I just humbly oblige and say, okay, paperwork, sure. Let's just get it done and over with. Fighting bandits is very tiring. So she doesn't pay much attention, but she does uh, lead the cart through the gates that open up for you guys. And you guys find yourself in actually a very nice end of town right here. There's like trees and grass and bushes all over the place. The oh buildings are nice and large. It's like a forest, but on the inside. Actually, a few of these lawns actually have a few uh, stables connected to them. And there seems to be some people uh, tending to them occasionally. Uh, the people that are walking about are also very well dressed and such. Oh, uh, predominantly, predominantly humans in this area. This must um, be where the nobles live. I just kind of roll up my stuff a little high over my beak. Just to see if I can hide a little bit from them. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you do get a few glances, but uh, more of the glances are actually Meg who leading you guys through this end of town. Oh, this feels nice. She does uh, take you through uh, a nice thoroughfare that goes area. Has more, um, like, shops set up, but they are still very large and lavish buildings around here. <laughs> and right next to one of these lavish buildings is a uh, side road that she kind of takes you through and you end up looking at a very large building in front of you that has a large like, iron gate all across the side of it. She says, okay, you can just leave the cart here. Come on, continue. Uh, she goes and literally, like, picks up uh, Philip by the like, front of his shirt and, like, kind of Pulls him up, smacks him another time, and he's like, Okay, I'm awake, I'm awake. Hi, are you sure she's human? <laughs> yeah, she's a human. Just such strange creatures you all are. She's a buff human, maybe? <laughs> Apparently! This takes no nonsense. Yeah, she doesn't seem to give a shit, so. Yeah. <clears throat> but leads you the into a very large, um... It seems to be a manor, like... It has, like, big, huge doors that are actually, like, wide open on it, but there's several stories, and there's, like, statues, like, here and there of, like, prominent, like, human and elven-looking people. Uh, there are a few people that are uh, moving back and forth, and unlike the rest of the town, where it seemed to be predominantly humans, there's actually a lot of mixed races that are on this estate. Uh, there are several dwarves, several elves, uh, a few halflings, a few orcs, even. Oh, There's actually a gnoll as well. Oh, the dog, man. Yeah. I, um, I turn to the tabaxi and I say, A bird, a cat, and a dog walk into a bar. It's like, open for a reaction. Alright, fine, I guess you're not the funny type. <laughs> Unless, Silver, you wanted to react to that. <laughs> Not really. 
<laughs> okay, well, I want to know the rest of the joke. <laughs> oh, I fucking do. <laughs> I look at the half ring and say, after we get some food in our belly, I'll tell you the rest of the joke. Oh, Dad! It has been a while since you guys have eaten. Uh, walking into this, uh, large manor, uh, there's, like, this nice carpet there, which is immediately, like, uh, walking in about ten foot or so, there seems to be several desks that are just kind of set up as, like, a barrier, and then, like, a small area off to the sides that you can kind of walk around, and some large tapestries that are kind of used to be able to block off sight deeper into this area. Uh, there's a half-orc actually talking to a human there. And when Meg walks in, she uh, regards the human. Hey, Jalen! The new guys are here! Philip got knocked out again. Oh, this is apparently a thing. <laughs> Philip just kind of rolls his eyes, and Meg turns around and just walks the back out without even saying goodbye or anything. Oh. Saved your life, by the way, Philip. You're welcome. Mm, Philip, thanks you. It's like, yeah, sorry about that. I don't know, I mean... Not too accustomed to bandits, but they got the jump on me, so... Uh, the human walks up to you guys. I was like, oh, uh, my name's Jalen. Sorry about Meg. She's my wife. Yep. Oh. She you tab that? <sighs> Sorry. Anyways, so, um, hi, uh, you guys are here with Philip. Uh, you guys are our new recruits, eh? Yeah. It seems so. All right. I bet you guys are hungry. You want to get some food? I think the mess hall just opened. Just closing up right now, but they've still got some uh, chicken. Yes, they better have some nice dwarven ale. Eh, we got plenty of beer right now. Uh, not too much dwarven ale. I mean, we don't really get too much of that in here. Well, anything will do. I am quite dry. Hmm. Definitely. <laughs> so there's a human in this area, but okay. <laughs> So he's like, okay, Philip, uh, you rest up, you take care of your thing, I'll take it. So Jalen kind of leads you off to the uh, side room where there's this huge banquet hall. But the tables seem to be just random <laughs> stacks of different tables and chairs that are sitting around. Oh, how do you all... There's, a... there's no symmetry. This hurts my eyes. Absolutely no symmetry. Oh. oh, God. It's like watching a ferret make a den. I take the closest beer next to me. I'm just um, gonna start filling a plate. Yeah, go for the food. There's a small buffet set off to the side. Yeah, and I go small for the food too. A drink bar, like, right next to that as well. <laughs> I grab a drink. Okay. There is definitely some beer there. I just start eating the food off of the buffet. <laughs> I'm actually wow, just not going to eat yet. I'm going to wait till everybody eats food. Cultured elf. <laughs> Jeez. Roll my I eyes live at the, the wild. Elf. I don't care about your people. Your people's rules. Apparently not. Not even your own. Uh, Ready for round two, Elf. Oh, oh God. <laughs> uh, Jalen waits until you are all seated or at least halfway fed before uh, continuing. Like, okay. So, um... You guys okay? <laughs> Apparently there was some sort of scuff or something that you guys... And it's not they the hurt handle. my butt. Oh, yes, that's not we good. Some, we fought some bandits on the way. I think we should just be lucky it wasn't any goblins. 